What's up, everyone? Andy for Wager Talk. We're going to do a quick little Road to Millions video here. We're just going to recap some April units and record. There's a couple things I was going to talk about. And uh, we'll do some free plays as well. Um, I haven't done one in a while, and I will just be 100% honest uh, with everybody. Normally on Wednesday, it's me and Steve doing the Unbreakable Sports Record Hall of Fame. Steve is uh, got some health issues, so I hope he's going to be back with us next week, but he has been a little bit out of commission for a while. So um, I'll, I'll let him tell you what's going on if he feels so, but it was pretty serious for a while, but um, hopefully he'll be back home and good to go starting next week. So it is thrown some of our content off so sending nothing but positive vibes to him and hopefully he'll be back here on videos uh real soon so um real quick uh we do have a really nice deal going on and it's it's important to grab this one if you have if you if you're not all access it's buy seven days get three free for 99 dollars, and that starts tonight it's important we've got a couple five percent plays that are up right now we have a four percent golf pack and that's going to include all of our plays for the next 10 days. So it's by far the biggest bargain that we have going on, especially when you see what plays that we have up right now. So we have a Formula One race. So any plays that we have will be up for that. Um, I'm not in play. I'm not in action in NBA tonight, but I'm going to go over a free prop that I think might be worth looking at. And then, of course, MLB, NHL, any of those plays will be included as well. Lacrosse, all the normal uh, normal good stuff, any cross-sport parlays, things like that. But there's no promo code needed. It's just on the on my profile page. Um, about halfway down, you see the, the promo. So go get, the, go get that, $99. It's 10 days for the price of seven, and it gets all plays, including 5%. So I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start here with uh, the April recap. And one of the reasons I want to do that is I several of you expressed interest in kind of doing some kind of uh, recap instead of doing the whole bankroll reset day thing. So um, let's go over here. What this is up until this point in April. And there's a couple things I want to go over of importance here. So in April, golf were four and two. Um, we lost the 5% at the Masters, which is a real bummer because it brings that whole record down. I will say what absolutely saved that tournament from being a complete disaster instead, I think we lost like only one unit or you know 1.8 unit, which you never want to lose, but it's a lot better than getting killed for 8, 9, 10 units. Um, we discovered those individual round plays on the scores on Saturday and Sunday, and we hit three of them. Um, we hit, we faded Tiger, and then we supported Scotty Scheffler. It was made a huge difference. Um, so those daily plays, and we just, and it was just kind of like just searching the website and seeing what props they had out and kind of putting two and two together. Going, wait a minute, these numbers are way off. So just by looking and digging a little deep, we managed to bring in like six units on those plays. So that was a really, really important thing that at least my, at least for my personal bankroll made a huge, huge difference. So lacrosse, this was the bummer. You knew it was coming. Unfortunately, there was nothing we could do about it. We really loved the plays off of an insane like 15 and 5 run. Uh, we got 0 and 3 in April, so we're down 11 units. Um, hard to be upset when we've had the season in lacrosse that we have, but I, listen, we're up big still in the sport, but that, that that's hurt us in April. MLB, 2-1 and one in April, plus 1.8 units. So I've talked about MLB and how I want to do it, and I'm loving it. I am 6-1 and one in the last seven MLB plays. I'm literally doing one play a week. And my goal is, at the end of this baseball season, I, just, I don't want to have that many plays, but I want to be up. So I'm just continuing on with this 2% play, finding one play a week that I love. We already hit ours for this week, so I'm probably done uh, with baseball for this week. So keep an eye out. I do not put out baseball plays. I may, have, I may have two if I'm feeling frisky. But whenever I have a baseball play out, I literally have probably waited seven, eight, nine days for it. So get it. Because my goal, I'm going to try and hit like 75% at the end of the season because it's worked. The, the strategy has worked in NHL. I'm going to, I'm trying it in MLB. So um, with NHL, this low, low volume, doing a play every once in a while has gotten me to number one on the wager talk leaderboard. So I, I'm just going to continue uh, on with this MLB thing. So keep an eye out for MLB when I have one. 
it's worth it. MMA, uh, been very good in April, 5-1 and one plus 11.7 units. I made a mistake last week in PFL. That ain't going to happen again. We're going to be higher volume in PFL. The first few weeks in these divisions, there are just a lot of plays that we can make. And just full disclosure, because I'm always honest with you guys, I was watching PFL last week and I was making a lot of play, not a lot, but like I was making other plays that I didn't submit to wager talk. Jim is always on me about this. He's like, listen, I know your low volume approach works. It needs to be higher volume in PFL. And he's right. On a night of PFL fights, there are going to be like five or six plays that we love and we're going to win four or five of them. Um, you just like with PFL, you just can't put one play out. It's different from UFC. UFC, it's almost flipped for me. If you, to me, if you go high volume on UFC, you could have a really bad night. PFL, it, there's, it's hard to get smoked when you have five or six plays in the PFL. So, especially with the amount of research that we do. So, for all access clients, we already have two plays up in the PFL now. I would be ready for at least three, probably four plays. So, get ready for that. But um, MMA, we said we were going to do damage in MMA, and we have started that. So I, we have the next probably month or so uh, to keep doing that. Auto racing, 3-3. Three and three. We used auto racing in a cross-sport parlay, so that one's fine. NBA, 1-2 and two for minus 2 units. NHL, you know, I almost pulled the plug on NHL with a couple weeks ago in the season, and I wish I would have. I put in a few more plays. They all lost. So um, we're still number one because I put them in at like 1% and 2%. We're still number one on wager talk, but we're waiting for the playoffs. I'm not even looking at any of the any of the lines. So um, soccer, good. Tennis, Corbin just hit two plays today. Those were great. And then our cross-sport parlay, 2-0 uh, plus 4.5 units. So um, what are the big takeaways here? I have another surprise for you guys coming up. This is something I've been talking about, and now we get to start seeing the fruits of our labor. Um, golf should have been better. Lacrosse regression is a real thing. We just couldn't figure out. We couldn't see it coming. We knew it was coming. We just didn't know how to get in front of it. Um, baseball, I want to be up like 30 to 35 units at the end of baseball season with only having like I don't know, 40 plays. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, MMA, really liking what we're seeing here. Beautiful night on Saturday. We hit the 5% uh, with Alex Pereira. We hit the 2% with Diego Lopez. Boom, just perfect uh, Saturday night. And then Formula One is this week, so we'll get back on track. Um, okay, so what was the big surprise? Not surprise. Look what cashed for us this week. Look what just hit our bankrolls. NBA futures, 6-1 and one plus 10 units. I'm so in on futures in these sports. Like, the month of April wasn't, wasn't, it hasn't been great. We're coming off a huge March. Look at these futures. Just bang, 10 units. It, 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 like, when they hit, they're just fantastic. And we continue to crush on these futures. Um, the only one that we lost was the Dallas Mavericks. We had their under, uh, team total wins and so what they killed us. The rest of them easy hit our two fa our, our favorite, um, over was the Pacers. We normally take a lot of unders and, uh, but our favorite NBA was the Pacers over. It was 38 and a half wins. I think they got to 48. Um, my favorite player prop was an under Chris Paul under 12.5 points average per game. Easy cash. Never in doubt. So these futures on these sports, and I'm going to I'm going to incorporate this more, like when we get to like All Star breaks, things like that. If you can sniff out some like rest of the season futures, I really really want to attack this. You could have gotten the Toronto Raptors under their team total wins at the All Star break in NBA when it was obvious they were tanking. So those things I want to take so much more advantage of because we only put these futures in it two units. We put them all at four units. That's a 20 unit thing. So the futures in all sports, man, that I, 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 they, these need to be an important part of your bankroll. All access clients just know that these are going to continue to be a bigger part of, of what we do because, you know, we're, we're having April, we're up around like five units. So, Hey, you're never going to, you know, sneeze at that. But when these futures come in and now you go, wow, just brought in 10 more units in April makes a huge, huge difference 
on the bankroll. So, um, wanted to go over this recommendation of units. I'll just put this up. This is what my recommendation. Um, I will I will tell you on Sunday when DraftKings gave us Tiger Woods over under seventy two and a half on his final round score. He he would have had to have shoot even par in order to go under. I irresponsibly bet the over. I, I broke the rules on this one. That's my one time this year that I, I broke the rules. Um, but it was a you know, no sweat. So um, all other plays besides Tiger Woods over, this is normally what I'm, I'm averaging about. So Neil, if you're watching, if you could send me an email, um, your last comment, I, I asked you to email me. And if you could, that would be great because – I would love to. I would love to talk to you more about flat betting. You you brought up some incredible numbers. So anyway, recommendation units. Okay. God, Andy, get to the free plays. Okay. Uh, let's take a look here. Not much happening in the NBA tonight. Two garbage games. However, let's take a look at the turnovers. Mister Dejounte Murray, he likes turning the ball over. Um. So DeJounte Murray's turnovers are at two and a half. It's only minus 157. To me, that's a good one. You know he's going to play a ton of minutes tonight. A ton of minutes in this game. It's a play-in game. Of course, they're going to play. So he's had three, three, four, two against Denver, and then four, five, 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 and three. And uh, let's take a look at how he's done against Chicago. Well, in April, he had five. In February, he had six. And in December, he had three. These are last year. So he's had three, six, and five against Chicago. And just in the last 30 games, he's going over quite a bit. But this streak to end the year here, that is eye-opening. So DeJounte Murray over two and a half turnovers would be a way that I would look at that. I'm not even going to look at NHL plays. But I'm going to pull up... um, uh, DraftKings. Uh, So I discovered something. Talk about... Deep diving and making sure you're paying attention to props. Okay, so the, all you golf fans, the RBC Heritage is here. How many of you knew that there was another tournament going on? The Corrales, the Punta Cana. Alex Noren is only minus 125 to finish in the top 20. Alex Noren is the best player in this field. Not a question. He is. Total strokes gained for this year, he is the best player that is in this field. He has four straight top 20 finishes on the PGA Tour in real events. This is a no-nothing throwaway because all of the best players are playing at the RBC Heritage. There are 69 players in the top 70 playing at the RBC Heritage. The rest is the, you know... Horschel, Doug Gim, Kevin Yu, Aaron Rye, Davis Thomas. Alex Dorn is better than all of them easily. My only concern is he hasn't played here. <clears throat> and this Corrales, this is down in the Caribbean. So sometimes you'll see guys, it's just a vacation. So they bring their family. They don't give a flying F about playing on the weekend. So they miss the cut. But Alex Dorn is playing for points. And if he gets a win, that is a really big deal for his PGA Tour. And uh, PGA Tour card, I think he's going. I think he's going to play well, and I think he's going to be near the top. The course is super easy. It's a little windy. Doesn't bu- doesn't matter. Alex Noren is minus one twenty five, and I will piggyback off that. Nikolai Hogard is minus one ten. He finished sixteenth at the Masters last week. Last year he finished second at this tournament. I listen. I I just I almost didn't even look at this tournament, and I looked. You get the top two guys, and all they're going to do is finish inside the top 20 with this field? This field is terrible. So that's something that you guys can look at. Um, PFL lines are out. Jim and I will be doing the PFL breakdown video. Um, we'll, we'll save some of the – there's really not much to go over that we won't go over in the PFL video um, in depth. So um, I will just tell you this. <laughs> Renan Frere at plus 380 over Francis Ngannou is mighty, mighty tasty. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I'm in the – I'm not really sure if I want to be in the betting on Francis Ngannou at minus 500 uh, business. So um, let's see. There were – there was that. There was golf. Um, we do have darts tomorrow. 5% darts play is up. Um 
I would tell you guys if you guys have alternate totals, most of these are going long. Most of like it's 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 first one to six. So if when you take these over eight and a half and even the alt lines on like seven and a half um, on some of these guys, these scores are always like six to four or six to five. So that's something to, to keep your eye on there. Um, if we want to do some look aheads to UFC, um, there are some horrific fights, horrific fights. Uh, money has started to come in on Gabe Green over James uh, Lontop. And Lontop is coming off of, uh, <laughs> just moved literally while I was here. Uh, Lontop is coming off Contender Series. I didn't think he was that good. Um, I don't know. Gabe Green, I love fading these Contender Series guys. I, and I think Gabe Green is much better. He's lost He's lost to Brian Battle. And I can't remember who his other loss was too, but it was to somebody good. I, I Fading these Contender Series guys continues to pay off. Uh, Ketlin Souza versus Marnik Mann it may be one of the worst fights of the year. It might be. Second, maybe Dante Mays and Kyle Machado. This is an over if I've ever seen it. These guys are going to be tired by the two-minute mark. Um, and then uh, Victor Henry. This is a minus 600 that should be a minus 6,000. So if you want to lock that in as a parlay piece, I would think about doing that. Um and then uh, Austin Lane, Jonathan Dinez, that is an under if I've ever seen it. So, And then um, I don't know why we're getting plus money on Ariane Lipsky. I don't think Karina Silva is that great, and Lipsky has been getting better and better, so there's a good plus money uh, look, look look ahead. So, um, so those are some look aheads. Other than that, I'm just – guys, be careful when you're betting. Like these NBA play-in games – just be careful when you're betting on them. I, I just I think they're pretty tough. Uh, shout out to Teddy who absolutely nailed his uh, two dollar Tuesday five percent play, but he's been on an NBA roll and he that was such a beautiful handicap. It was and it was so obvious sitting right in front of us. Um, he had the Lakers, but from player props, which is what I do, I, it, it, to me it's a stay away. I mean, you got Clay Thompson over ten. It, that's what happens with one game. And so, like, you can't do the lazy line theories where it's like, no, I'm going to take this guy to try and, you know, play him four or five games in a row. So um, I, I stay away from the play-in games, and I haven't even dabbled with MLB player props. So um, I'm just sticking to my guns that I will find a very, very weak baseball line. I will fire away 2%, and at the end of the season – when no, when everybody is least expecting it, all of a sudden, old Lang, old Langer's up at the top of the MLB leaderboard, just like we did with NHL. So um, that's going to be uh, that's it's and listen, it's worked out great. We're up like what sixty five units now after those caches today. So. Uh, we're doing pretty good. So, uh, guys, if you got any questions, leave a comment. Neil, if you could send me an email or just leave a comment because I'd love to talk to you about uh, you tracking the uh, the flat betting. I thought that was very interesting, and maybe we'll maybe we'll have uh, maybe we'll talk some more about the flat betting. So, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for the look aheads and stuff. So we've got we've got a decent amount of plays that are up right now. They're big. I'm gonna do well in the RBC Heritage. I've got three plays up. That's a lot for me. But I love that tournament. So um, don't forget to get that seven day or the ten day pass for the price of seven days. It's on the middle of the page in my profile. That way you get locked and loaded for ten days and you get all the five percent plays. Two of them are up right now. So, all right, guys, got any uh, got anything else? Leave in the comment section. Good luck on all your plays, and I will tell you guys I have had a very very busy last week. Once it settles down, hopefully by Friday, I'll explain everybody what's been going on. So good luck in your plays. We'll see everyone later. Bye.